How you doing guys? Cam here and welcome to my big fat ultimate, my ultimate brawler build. Now you probably think to yourself, well you just poo pooed it and uh, avoid the skills. And I did. And everybody kept coming back and saying, but you didn't do it right. You didn't do it right. So I thought, right, let's go and have a look at this. So disclaimer time. Uh, I haven't looked at anybody else's builds. This is what I've come up with myself. Uh, so if there's any coincidences, any anything that's familiar or anything like that it is pure coincidental okay and um if we both ended up whoever else has shown you one of these builds and we both ended up with the same build well it goes to show that it's the right build then for you isn't it so without further ado let's go through the skills you're going to need the books also the consumables the weapons and finally the armor so to get to the recommended skill points that i think you're going to need for this build uh, you're going to have to get to bat level 59. I know it says a point available there, which is one I accidentally went over to 60, but I'm not going to spend this one. So, as you can see in perception, we've put in absolutely nothing. None of these. I don't need them. Seven into strength. Uh, I've got the seventh one because I actually got a cigar in my mouth, which is fantastic. Put nothing into those. Leveled out sexual Tyrannosaurus because at the end of it, you get killing blows grant you 30 stamina so you want to pick up as much stamina as you can heavy armor so that as you can see you get a uh, better armor movement and stamina penalty by 25 percent and improved durability not too bothered with that but also you can craft the heavy armor that you need which is brilliant fortitude is absolutely maxed out i've also put a pair of glasses on which give me the uh, the extra point because you do need all of brawler now brawler is the main thing that's going to keep you alive because as you can see it it deals 50 percent more damage and you can also explode head with punches so where you can you want to punch the head as much as possible because uh, that's where all the damage is going to be so it's well worth getting that one pain tolerance is maxed out as well so you've got reduced hp loss by 25 percent, and you're not going to get stunned fantastic healing factor is also up there as well um, if you get any critical injuries and you use any of the healing stuff that normally gets rid of it, it gets rid of it really, really quick, such as lacerated arms, that kind of thing. So it is massively worth getting. And also your health trickles up every six seconds. So please do. Iron Gut is another one. The reason why I picked this one is because buffs from consumables last 50% longer, i.e. beer. And you really do need beer in this one. Got agility up to seven. And the reason for that is I want a flurry of blows. A flurry of blows is fantastic because one-handed melee attack speeds are increased by 25%. Each kill recharges stamina by 30 points. But that also puts up your stamina as you kill them. You don't run out of stamina. Nothing in intellect. And then we've got perk books. You're going to need to find all the bar brawling. So with the bar brawling, you get 10% more damage with fists. Sprinting power can knock down. Not too worry about that one. 5% damage with each kill. Lovely, up to 15%, absolutely brilliant. Extra damage to knock down and stunned opponents, which is great because you want to knock them off their feet. Recover health in combat with every punch. Attack and move after getting hit, not too worried about that. Drinking beer no longer blurs your vision. That is what you need. That with the beer, unbelievable, brilliant. And then the seventh cursed. The seventh unarmed strike lands in a short time, does 300% damage. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And the only other books I've got is Urban Combat. So it allows you to craft what you need, okay? Also your cigars. Armor doesn't slow you down when in combat. Take 5% less damage and deal 10% more damage when indoors. That's the one you want, and that's the one we're going to try when we go and do a tier 5 in a minute. So equipment wise, uh, what I've done is I've given myself uh, level five steel knuckles. So everything is level five because that's what you should be able to make yourself if you can't find it or buy it. If you can get level six stuff, then by all means use it because it's only going to add. Uh, so what I've done with this one with steel knuckles is I put in um, an ergonomic grip mod, a serrated blade mod and a rad remover. Now the rad remover is quite handy obviously so that if you get any irradiated it gives them a bit more pain uh, but that brings the melee damage up to 22.2 and the power attack to 35.8 which is really cool everything else still boots i've put in what i can i've got a customized fittings mod 
and also banded armor so that gives you a little bit of stamina that gives you a little bit of armor rating so that's really cool and also a bit of full damage i've got in there uh same with these and same with these and same with these and the only difference is in the steel helmet i've also got the light i've put in the cigar so i get the strength plus one not for the bartering and i've also put in uh tough guy glasses so i get the fortitude so these two items will not make it so difficult to get my skill points up so that's where we are with those along with that i've also got beer beer is great because you get stamina regen and brawling damage and that along with that book which makes you not drunk when you drink beer is fantastic now the duration is 45 seconds but actually it goes up for quite a long time if you drink two of them so especially when you've got the skill points to actually increase the time limit of anything that you consume got a bit of food got first aid kits just in case painkillers in case i quickly need to drop some health in really quick uh yucca smoothie because it's an all-rounder and also antibiotics just in case i get infection but I, i'm not expecting to get infection in this one at all so here we are day 50 i thought i'd give it a go on day 50 and uh see what happens we're on a look at this i mean dish on tower if this don't work nothing will really will it so i'm just gonna give myself a little buzz uh, i've got a little bit more xp because i had to defend myself in the area um it happens you know what it's like you know what it's like problem is i can't remember where the bloody things are Anna. oh yeah hello have it Ooh. No need for that. Just got to work out where they're coming from, really. Hello. I did think about having a drone that could actually automatically, uh, you know, heal me, but I thought, nah, it's all right. Look at them all coming in. The thing is, you think being a quiet killer, you think that you wouldn't get so many coming in, would you? Ooh. I'm going to have a look in the blue bag. I can't resist it. I really can't. Um, it's not bad. Got plenty of food on us, by the way. How can they hear me? I mean, seriously? I am. I should be a silent killer. Have it. I just don't get it how they can air me. I'm as silent as the grave. Do you know what I mean? Alright, Gran. Ooh, right in the belly. Oh no. Did it again. Right, I'm gonna take a beer for this one. Right, you want some? for any more come on you know you want it come on sunshine
Ah. Hulk smash. No, you don't. Any food? Oh, beer. Yeah, we'll take the beer. I'll take that as well, actually. trick is to use both so little short ones like that and a dirty great big one like that that's the trick i find anyway The main thing about this build is you don't want them getting behind you. That's the only issue with it that I find. Is they can get up and close, which is fine. But you don't want them behind you at all. Right, so what I'm going to do is... There's two ways through here. I'm going to shut the door here and shut the door here because I only want them coming through one way. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink a bit of beer. What you do. Get up. Seriously? There you go. Come on then. Who wants it? Through the doorway. Come on. You've had it. You've had it. You've had it. And you. Can't get out. Oh, bloody hellfire. I do remember this one. This is absolutely bloody pure hell. So we are going to get tanked up with beer. Six minutes is the max. Okay. I'm going to wake him up. The bird. I do it. Don't come through the door, come this way. Seriously. Seriously guys, don't don't come through the door. Please don't come through the door. Please don't. Oh, you're gonna come through the door, aren't you? You idiots. Go on, come through the door. There they come. Ooh! Hello, Greeny. You alright? What, we just left with the gap. Oh, hello. Get back here, you. Oh, look at them all. Can't be all of them. 
I bloody knew it. That bird. Get out of here. Oh, it comes small. Apart from a bird that seems to be missing, um, I think we've cleared them all out. There you go. Let's get to the loot. That is my big fat ultimate build for brawling. So thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you again. See you later. Bye bye.